Right. Here we go again. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Six String Saturday series. Um, today we're going to be looking at backing minor tunes as opposed to what we've done so far, which has all been major tunes. Um, the way you pick your chords for them is much the same really. Obviously you can hear straight away this tune is sad, not happy, therefore it's going to be in a minor key. Um, and then what you want to do after that is to work out what chords 1, 4 and 5 are for that key, same as before. However, in a minor key, because chord 1 is minor, chord 4 is minor as well, and so is chord 5. So let's say uh, we're in the key of E minor. Uh, so for E, chord 4 is going to be A minor, and chord 5 is going to be B minor. Um, aside from that, it's the same rules that we learned before, which is that you end the section by going from chord 5 back to chord 1, or at least end the section on chord 5 so that the next section starts on chord 1. Um, you also can switch between chord 1 and chord 4 at will, as long as it's not the beginning or end of a section. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to whistle you a bit of a tune called Morrison's Jig, and I'm going to back it with just chords 1, 4 and 5, so that you can see that those rules are all exactly the same as they were before. Um, and then we'll look at how you can make that a bit more interesting. Here we go then. Obviously, in a, a minor tune, chords 1, 4, and 5 are all already minor. So instead, you're going to swap to their related majors. So that is um, exactly the same as before, basically. You're going to call whichever chord you're trying to work it out from 1, and then you go, go 1, 2, 3, and 3 will be your related major. That's exactly the same as what we were doing before, counting up 6. So from D, you went to B minor, which was D was 1. E was 2, and so on and so forth, until you got to 6, which was B. This is the same, but the other way around, you're going from the minor back to the major, so you go 1, 2, 3. Or you can do it 6 backwards if you prefer to do it the other direction, whatever makes more sense to you. I like counting upwards, because I think it's easier. Um, but yeah, uh, that's how you work it out. So if chord 1 is E minor and chord 4 is A minor, from A minor, the related major is C major, so any time you were playing an A minor chord 4 before, you could now play um, a C major instead. And the same goes for chord 5. Any time you were playing uh, B minor, you could now play B's related major, which is D major. Um, I'm now going to give you a quick little blast through that same tune using uh, the related majors for both chord 4 and chord 5. Um, here we go. <coughs> I'll turn this down a bit as well, actually. <laughs> Yeah. 
yep, so that's all well and good. Uh, I hope that's all made sense to you. You might remember as well, before I was saying in a major key, you can't swap the chord five to its related minor because it just doesn't work very well. You'll be pleased to hear you can swap chord five to its related major in a minor key and it's totally fine, it works just as well. So uh, yeah, that's the end of this lesson. I hope it's all been useful. Um, if you have any questions, queries, comments, etc., leave me a comment in the box. Uh, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel for new videos every Saturday, occasionally Friday or Sunday if I'm not here on a Saturday. Um, and yeah, also if you'd like a free guitar lesson down in uh, near Kellam Island, if you do live in the surrounding area, just like the Facebook page and we'll get started. Uh, teach all styles and uh, all abilities. Yeah, thanks very much for watching. I hope you'll tune in for the next one. Cheers. Bye bye. <laughs>